Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain training videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the base frequency in your old GCS 900, uh, the CB460, and how to check the connectivity to the base to see if you've got the information received. How you do that is from the main menu here, kind of the waffle button we call it. If you go in here, you've got a couple icons on the right side, configuration and installation. Where it says installation, you hit the soft key to the right side of it. Down here, you go down to connectivity settings. In here, you've got two options. One, the radio band would be if you were in a grader running a dual band radio, you want to make sure you're on 900 megahertz and not 2400 for a total station. If you go in there, it also says the band at the bottom, which is 900 megahertz. This is where you set the channel, just up or down, until you get to the channel you want. Make sure the region is in the region that you um, are in working. Go ahead and leave that the same and hit it OK. It'll update. Once you've set that channel to that base frequency that you've got, you can hit this back button and come all the way out. If you're unsure if you're connected to the base for sure and you don't have corrections, etc., etc., you can go back into the main menu and go down to this one that says Diagnostics. The soft key to the side goes in there and right here goes and shows you all the different connected devices depending on what machine you're on. There's a lot here because we've got a grader. So we've got pitch, rotation, left and right, everything. All that is connected, but at the top right here, there's one that says GNSS. If you hit the soft key there, you can see that there's left and right receiver, so you can see the information, how many satellites I've got, what the horizontal and vertical precisions are, and my PDOP. But there's one here that says data link. If you hit that key, you've got left and right receiver, and the integrity and latency from the base, but you've also got one here that's really important, the one that says GNSS base station, says information received. If that said information not received, that's the sign that you're not picking up the base, and at that point you need to check your channel, check the base station, check the antennas, go through that whole process. But this right here, we've got information received, we've got good integrity and a one second latency, the information received from the base. So that's how you check that, and then you can hit this back arrow, arrow to back back out and go to your main screen. So hopefully this helps. Uh, thank you for watching this video from Site Tech in your Mountain.